In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the Sabre effect in After Effects in only 15 minutes. Enjoy! <laughs> to download the Sabre effect, you want to search for Video Copilot and go to their website. On the website, you want to go to the blog section and search for Sabre. Scroll down to find the download button. The setup is very simple, but I'll leave a walkthrough tutorial below. I've imported a couple of clips into Premiere Pro as an example, and I've sent them up with some music, which looks like this. You then want to select the clip you want to apply the Sabre effect to, Right click and go to replace with After Effects composition, which will open After Effects with your clip inside. Firstly, double click the clip to open a new layer. Then, find the part you want to apply the effect to. I will be adding it to the right hand when I flip the knife after the kill. Once you have done that, press the little icon at the top with a person and a brush. This is the Roto brush and it masks out everything inside the purple outline. It's just left click to draw and alt left click to delete. To change brush size, you hold and left click while moving the mouse up or down. So you want to create a purple outline around the hand and knife. and then press Ctrl and right arrow to go forward one frame and just make small changes to the rotoscope. With more practice this becomes a lot easier. Once you finish rotoscoping you want to find and click freeze. It will then cut out the unselected area, but this might take a while. After it's done, go back into the composition. You will find that the background has now been fully deleted. So what you want to do is select your clip in the timeline and press Ctrl and D. This will duplicate the clip. Then you want to go to the drop down menu of the second clip and delete the rotoscope effect, making everything look normal again. You now want to delete all parts of the clip that you don't want the Sabre effect on. Then, making sure that the top rotoscoped layer is selected, go to Layer at the top left of the screen and find Auto Trace. Clicking it will open up this box. Leave all the other settings alone, but make sure work area is selected. After Effects will now apply the auto trace. It may come up with an error message saying not responding, but just leave it for a bit and it should work. Now you can see that we have an almost perfect mask around the hand that would have taken hours to do otherwise. This tool can sometimes pick up on things we don't want though, like this grey mask near the bottom. We just simply select all the points of the mask and press delete. Unfortunately, the yellow mask has selected something at the start and we can't just delete it because it's the same as the hand mask. Because the hand isn't on screen at this point though, I can just shorten the length of the clip. The end result should look like this. Go to the Effects and Presets window on the left and search for Sabre. Drag Sabre onto your top clip and it should make everything go like this. In the Effects Control panel on the right, find Customize Core and hit the small arrow next to it. Then, under Core Type, change it from Sabre to Layer Masks. After that, go to Render Settings and again press the drop down arrow. Change the Composite Settings from Black to Transparent and now everything will start coming together. As you can see the effect looks really good, but towards the end it goes a bit weird and doesn't look right. 
To fix this, I'll simply go to transform on the top layer and make it so the opacity fades in and out. I'll add one keyframe at 0% at the start. Then a few frames forward I'll bring it up to 100%. I'll then go to the point where the mass starts freaking out and hit this icon for another keyframe at 100% opacity. I'll then move another few frames forward and bring the opacity back down to zero. Finally I make small adjustments until it all looks right and I highlight the keyframes and press F9 on my keyboard which easy eases all of the keyframes. Now the fun part. At the effects control panel and under saber near the top you can find the presets menu and select loads of pre-made presets. This is great because it means you can reuse this effect multiple times per video or montage because there is such a diverse range of outlines to choose from. As well as this, Sabre can be used on scopes, on text and on whole scenes which is amazing considering it is free. For this example I'm going to choose the mist preset and change the glow colour to purple to match the character I'm playing and now the effect is complete. Back in Premiere Pro we can see the clip has turned pink showing it is linked to the After Effects project but in my experience I always find it safer to export the After Effects project because sometimes the links can break. To do this go to File, Export and Add to Render Queue. Under Output Module leave all the settings alone but make sure that the format is set to QuickTime. Then just output it to wherever you want and click render. Import the render into Premiere Pro and deselect this icon on the top left of the timeline. Delete the audio and drag the video over the pink clip. Now the effect is integrated into the montage. After adding some time remapping, the finished edit looks like this. The shot clock zero, I clock back below The Casa Amigos, the Ganja free roll Where Castro we go, was broke down below I counted up my blessings oh my and I'm straight from That's the needle dope. When record hit needle, my voice on kilo That anybody hating, we say fuck you, CeeLo Tick tock, yeah the clock don't no. stop Just a couple more seconds till you see me on top As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to